Most people look at building muscle and losing body fat as two separate goals, and fair enough, they are two separate goals. If you're a really skinny guy and you wanna build muscle, you don't need to lose excess body fat. But if you have excess weight to lose and you want to build muscle, there's no need to wait until you've got rid of all your body fat and then start building muscle. I'm gonna show you how to build muscle and lose body fat at the same time, so make sure you stay tuned. What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another video. And yes, I did a video very similar to this a while back, but this is just gonna be that bit more practical, that bit more practical in the sense you can take it away and implement it without showing you studies. You probably don't need to see at this point. You know that building, well, if you watched my last video and you've watched similar videos, you know that building muscle and losing fat at the same time is very possible. You just need to know how to do it and not, and also you need to go in with the expectation that it's going to take time and you're not gonna see the scale weight. You actually have to be comfortable with not seeing the scale weight change for maybe six to 12 months. And that doesn't mean anything because the weight on the scale, weight and fat are different things. Obviously fat weighs, it weighs quite a bit. I mean, if you're like really overweight, you're gonna weigh more, but, 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 when you lose weight, you'll also lose muscle and you'll also lose water along with fat if you're not doing it in the right way or if you're going too extreme. You could easily lose a lot of weight by just deducting 500 to 1,000 calories from your maintenance level. Once you do that, you'll obviously be eating significantly less, and, but you'll lose a lot of weight on the scale but it's completely up to you. You will lose a lot of muscle in that process as well. It's highly, highly likely you will. But the opposing scenario is what I'm gonna tell you about in this video. So what you can do is you can avoid, first of all, eating less, avoid getting into that massive calorie deficit so you won't experience that lack of energy, maybe the lack of sleep, the kind of like, I'm gonna put it straight, you, you're gonna feel a bit depressed going into a thousand calories deficit, especially if you've been so used to just eating so much food and then you're suddenly like, oh, okay, a thousand calories. You can eat a good amount of volume and still you know, have a thousand calories less, but I'm proposing a better way to do it. So what you do is you start at maintenance calories, just your maintenance level, which means you're gonna be eating quite a bit. And that's usually around, if you're a very quick formula, your body weight in pounds times by 15. That's a very rough estimate. I'm gonna put a calculator at the end so you can go to the website, do your own calculation. But if you're eating at maintenance, you're doing resistance training three to four times a week. Eating at maintenance means you're gonna have more energy to do the resistance training. Don't get me wrong, you can still do resistance training eating 500 to 1,000 calories less, but doing it and maintenance means you have more energy, your lifts are probably gonna go up like in a more linear fashion, which is great, it's, that's a great win to see. A non-weighing scale win, which is, which is great. We don't wanna be weighing ourselves 24 seven. And just while I actually remember, so you don't, you can still weigh yourself if you want, it's completely up to you. I wouldn't weigh yourself any more frequent than every two weeks. If you really want to weigh yourself uh, every week, then do so. But the most important thing here would be, be pictures and also measurements as well. Taking body measurements, tracking them every two weeks and taking pictures. You can send those pictures to your friends, your family, or anyone maybe that's training with you or your coach, which should actually ask for your photos anyway. And then that way that person can feed back to you because you're not gonna be able to see the change because you're looking at yourself in a mirror daily and you're not seeing any change on a weighing scale. You're not gonna be able to see the change better than someone else. Some people may, but generally speaking, you're not gonna be able to. So what I recommend, three to four resistance training sessions a week. And if you want to, 
if you're getting into the resistance training and you're fine, you're like, ah, I can do a bit more. So go to the gym and do one to two sessions of cardio as well. That's completely fine. I'll do slow, steady state cardio. And then what your body's going to do is your body's going to utilize your fat stores. Bear in mind to lose fat and build muscle at the same time, you have to have some body fat. If you're sitting at around 12%, like if you can see your abs or maybe your stomach's pretty flat or maybe there's not much fat on your body and you're trying to do this, it's not gonna work as well. But if you've got more body fat, this is gonna work a lot better. And what you're doing here is you're doing the resistance training, making sure you're training right, making sure you're stimulating growth in the gym. You wanna make sure you're taking most sets to close to failure apart from warm-up sets so your sets want to be one two three reps shy of failure i'd say one set more one rep so even more on the isolation moves like if you're doing say tricep push downs or something similar when it comes to three i'd say majority of your two to three being the majority of your working sets occasionally you can take it to failure that's completely fine but i wouldn't make that a habit but just because it can be quite hard to recover from also when you're eating and maintenance you're having enough calories to support recovery efficiently as well and you avoid getting into that overtraining state as well and also you will sleep a lot better you believe me try, going into a, a deficit of five to hundred to a thousand calories is is a big deal it's a big deal and it's not very sustainable doing it this way is more sustainable you may not you're not going to see the same results on the scale maybe even your body don't get me wrong you'll see faster results if you just dropped into the deficit in terms of fat loss but your muscle gain won't be the same so your body composition is not pro probably not going to look how you want it to look so this is why i suggest doing it this way i'm not against bulking and cutting cycles but i am definitely more in favor of doing it this way and then so you need to make sure your nutrition's right. You make sure you're eating enough carbs, fat, and definitely enough protein. Protein needs to be high here. It needs to be between one gram per pound of body weight all the way to 1.4 grams per pound of body weight. So that works out about 2.2 to 2.6 grams per kilo, roughly, uh, maybe 2.8. Uh, anyway, something similar. But you, you need to make sure it's nice and high and calories at maintenance, you're having enough carbs to fuel your workouts, you're getting enough sleep, you're keeping stress down, and believe you me, you will see results. Six to 12 months, you will look completely different. They're not gonna be as fast as in, you look yourself in the mirror one week time, you'll be like, oh, where's my body fat gone? It doesn't work like that. And then you can tell me, you tell me your response to it, because as you build more muscle, you burn more calories at rest, which is ideal. So. Um, you're going to look a lot better. You're going to be burning more calories at rest. You're going to be able to keep the fat off easier by doing it this way as well. And you're not, and like I said, you're not doing something that's unsustainable. So if you have any questions regarding this process, comment below. And if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, now's the time to click that subscribe button and share it with a friend. Also, obviously, like the video. If there's any videos you would like to see in the future, any specific videos, comment below and I'll do my best to get those done. And until the next video, keep pushing those limits.